everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel and happen to stumble by, I'm your girl Bella and I would totally love if you join me in my YouTube adventures. Hello, hello my sweet friends and happy Monday. Happy, happy Monday everybody. Can you believe it's Monday already? The weeks are flying by. Whoosh. Summer is like just flying by. Can you believe it? We are already in our second week of July, which means I have officially been in my house for one month. I know, one month already. And I feel that I've done quite a bit uh, for the month. Now, you saw the title of the video, you know it's a kitchen video. Before we get into the video, let's talk about Monday. How Monday is the absolute best, best day of the week. Mondays for me are so amazing. If you're new here, I love Mondays, and I'll tell you why right now. And for my oldies and goodies, we all know we love a Monday because it is the day to declare, declare, declare what you want to come into your life. Throw all that crazy negativity out the window. Goodbye, negativity. See ya. Okay, declare, declare, declare. Words are so powerful, so, so powerful. You want to declare what you want to come into your life. Make sure what you prophesy over your life is what you want. Don't say things like, oh, I hope, uh, I hope I, um, I don't get in a car accident. Don't say stuff like that. Say things like, my car is great, I'm a fantastic driver, and I have a perfect driving record. Speak prophecy over yourself and your life for things that you want to come into your life. Guys, I am a testament of this. I declared, declared, declared for three years straight that I was going to move back to the US and here we are today. I'm telling you, I declared it, declared it, declared it and waited and prayed on God's timing for the right place and the right home for me and my family. So I'm telling you, declare what you want to come into your life and throw all that negativity out the door. Okay, now that we're home <laughs> and now that we've all done that, let's talk about the heart of the home. What is the heart of the home? The kitchen, the kitchen. The kitchen is the heart of the home. And if you're like me, you know, us women, we're like nurturers. My, my, sorry, my shirt's <laughs> bothering me. <laughs> um, we're nurturers, so we love to cook, and we love to feed our families, and, you know, we love to show love. I love to show love through food and through, you know, like decor and touches of decor and pretty things and stuff like that. So if you're like me, the kitchen is definitely the heart of the home, definitely. And I love decorating kitchens. I love kitchens in general. Now this isn't my dream kitchen, obviously, right? So I'm gonna declare it. I'm gonna declare today, as of today, I am declaring that one day I will be in my dream kitchen. My dream, dream kitchen. That is what I'm declaring from now on, for today on that one day I will be in my dream kitchen. But I love this kitchen. It's actually very, very functional. It's a very, very well laid out for this size because I did downsize. Many of you know this, I had this massive home. And we sold that home and then we moved into that um, temporary house that you've seen a lot of videos on. And now we're here and it, this is a much smaller kitchen than I'm used to but it is really well designed. Surprising, I got all my stuff in and I'm really, really happy. I mean, I don't have the excess that I used to have, like the big giant countertops and stuff, but you never know, right? So I'm gonna declare it. So, Angela and I worked so hard. We painted, you're gonna see that. I have all the clips for you. We painted, we added knobs, we cleaned, we scrubbed, we, I mean, we disinfected, you name it, we did it. And I think the kitchen has turned out so, so good. So this is part one and Wednesday I'll have part two. Okay, so this is part one, all the clips are here 
and on Wednesday, come back on Wednesday and see me and you'll see the part two of the kitchen because or else this video would have been really, really long and I'm a babbler, so I'm going to zip it now <laughs> and I'll see you in the end. Okay, guys, let's, let me show you what I did to this kitchen. Okay, my friends, do you remember the before? Yuck. I mean, these walls were so dirty and grimy, especially in the kitchen, guys, especially in the kitchen. And remember, I got this house from online. I didn't even walk in it before I got it. It was so dirty. I can't even explain how dirty it is. Now, this is an old clip where I'm showing you everything, but there, these doors lead, that's my laundry room, and then the other door is to the garage. But this is what it looked like, this very dark green kitchen. <laughs> my daughter is a cheerleader. She is not afraid of heights, and neither am I, and we were up on these ladders, and this is when Angela's standing on the countertop. I got a clip of her. She was having so much fun painting, but we did a great job. And we have painted quite a bit of the house so far. And you'll see as we go along, you'll see. But the color is Alabaster from Sherwin-Williams, okay? So if anybody's interested, it's Alabaster. Finally, we took showers, we got cleaned up, and now we're decorating. Now, Angela's standing on the countertops, and I'm directing traffic down here. That little arch is from Hobby Lobby. It is so cute and I wanted to have like a farmhouse kind of glammy look. We were trying out these black um, riser things, but no, they didn't work. So she's just putting down a little glass riser and then this pair. I've had this pair for years and years and years and I love it. I'm gonna make a big vignette. So remember, vignettes are always three or um, odd numbers, three, five, or seven. So this one is gonna be five. Um, so I'm putting two of these, she's putting two of these apothecary jars, the clear glass ones, and I just filled them with faux fruit and I think they're gonna look really, really nice. So one's with the fruit and one's with all lemons. And um, I'm not, thrilled with them but for now I think it's cute I think it looks good we're gonna leave it to the until the fall because I have a whole bunch of ideas for fall decor and then here we just added this little concrete pot and it's got like French writing on it and then just some greenery in it. And I thought it looked really cute. Okay, we're moving on. We're gonna try these black risers again. Sorry for the lighting, guys. It was so hard to get an angle. I wanted to use my two um, lanterns, the two original lanterns from my shop, which I will be bringing back very, very soon, very, very soon. I had a meeting this morning on, um, opening the shop up so the shop will be open very soon hopefully hopefully very very soon but i uh, you know what honestly i did not like how these were turning out at all poor angela i got her up and down this ladder so many times Guys, those risers, those pedestals, the black ones, the wrought iron ones, they were just too tall. So we're gonna take them off and start from scratch again. Guys, I'm telling you, my daughter is a saint. I had her up and down the ladder so many times. Poor thing. Okay, so here's what we ended up doing. We ended up putting a tiny little riser on the bottom of each of the lanterns um, just so you can see them. You can see the decor and then it, the crown molding won't hide it, if that explains it properly. All right, let's go work on this side. Poor Angela, back on the ladder. So she's using this beautiful tray that I had. I've had this tray for so long. And guys, on the inside of that tray, it's... Um, 
is actually a decal from the Dollar Tree. I mean, believe it or not. And I love it. It says something about faith. I actually I can't even remember what it says. I'm going to have to go back and look at it. But I'll uh, show you a full tour of the kitchen on Wednesday. And I'll, we'll, we'll touch on that. But poor thing. I had her moving things around. I was like not happy with the way the flowers were going. And I just put some lambs here. And there's that rooster I got from Hobby Lobby. I love this guy. I think he is so, so cute. Poor Angela. I was like, no to the left, no to the right, no to the left. <laughs> Poor Angela. I'm telling you guys, she has the patience of a saint. <laughs> Anyways, so that's what we did. So here's a look at that. And then we're going to move on to the other side. Okay, guys, on this side, I'm using another wood arch thing. This one says Grace on it, and this is also from Hobby Lobby. I love these because they really fill in the background and give it some interest and texture. And, of course, I'm like, no, more to the left, more to the right, more to the left. Poor child. <laughs> She's such a trooper. She really is. And then I just got this uh, picture from Michael's with some yellow flowers on it. I thought it would be nice, and we put it on a little riser just to sit up straight, and then my bread box. And I thought this would look so cute up here, and it's befitting for the kitchen. So that's all we did for decor. So finally, my Amazon order arrived. Okay, guys, the filming on this is a little strange. I don't know what happened to my camera. But this is what you need to put up um, handles on your cabinets. It's a, it's a set. I'll have it linked down below. Don't worry, I'll have it linked in the house stuff in the Amazon store. And here are the handles. And they came individually wrapped with two different sizes of screws. So if you have like thin cabinets or thick cabinets, they, they, they supplied the perfect amount of screws for every door handle. So I was so, so happy with that. Now, here's my trick. Measure out all your cabinets with the template that you're gonna order if you're doing this. So measure out all the cabinets first, make your little marks on your cabinets, and then drill some pilot holes with the drill bit that comes in the kit. So it's so easy. They even give you a drill bit. I was shocked. And for that price, I think it was like $7 or something for the kit. I mean, nothing. Totally inexpensive. And then grab yourself a screwdriver and get to putting these in because that's how simple it is. Oh, yeah. And don't drop your screwdriver like I did. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I think they turned out so good. And I love the handles now. And it just adds that little touch of jewelry. You know, handles are like jewelry on a cabinet. What can I say? I love them. And then the very last thing, our cute little bless sign, because we are definitely blessed. Okay, my friends, what do you think? It looks so good. Okay, I'm gonna leave the Amazon hardware link down below in the description box so you can, you can check it out if you want. I'm telling you, hardware is the jewelry, the earrings of a kitchen. It just makes it pop. And I just think it's just that little extra touch. And God is in the details. That's what I would say. God is in the details. So those little tiny details, you know, you always you want, always want to do little, little details. Maybe other people won't notice them, but you will. And making your kitchen loving and pretty and, 
you know, just somewhere where you really, really want to cook is fantastic. Okay, so I will see you on Wednesday. Remember, Monday is the greatest day of the week because this is our day to declare, declare, declare what we want to come into our lives and throw all that negativity out. Remember, keep positive, keep your faith strong. Always know that it will come to pass. What you declare will come to pass. So watch those words, watch those words. Okay, guys, I hope you have an amazing, amazing week. I hope you do something you love this week. Go check out that Amazon store of mine, link down below. I, I added a whole bunch of new stuff and I'm gonna revamp the whole store, like I said before in another video. So I'll have lots of, lots of new stuff that I've been, you know, Googling and looking at and stuff like that. Gives you lots of ideas for decor, home design and stuff like that. So have a fantastic week and I will see you on Wednesday. Mwah. Bye YouTube, bye everybody. See you Wednesday.